This November, there are a lot of local measures on the ballot. Today, we're breaking down some of the school bond measures in Butte County. Action News Now reporter Blake Mayfield is live in Chico. Blake, what do families need to know about the bond measure for that district? Linda, Chico Unified School District's Bond C initiative is wanting to expand facilities for elementary schools and also improve their reading and literacy programs. Now, along with those school expansions, the bond will help repair and replace leaky roofs, windows, plumbing, and HVAC units. Chico Unified is asking for $239 million for this bond that they could spend over the next 25 years if passed. If you vote yes on this measure, it would increase your property taxes by $60 per every $100,000 of your home's assessed value. And the district believes this will bring in about $15.4 million annually. I spoke with a parent of two Rosedale Elementary students about benefits parents and students alike would see from this measure if it passed. It will help to rebuild some of our oldest schools and that in turn is going to greatly affect the safety and health of our students just generally. Nobody really wants to pay new taxes, but if there is a plan in place, you can totally see tangibly where your money's going. I think that makes a lot of difference to taxpayers. Measure C will provide money for school facilities and equipment only, meaning there's no money set aside for things like administrator salaries. The measure also states that all funds will stay in the Chico Unified School District, plus independent audits on the measure's financing and how it's being spent will also take place. Measure C needs at least 55% of voters to say yes to pass on the ballot this November 5th. Reporting in Chico, I'm Blake Mayfield for Action News Now. All right, thank you, Blake. Now you can find your vote, your future tab on our website for links to candidate and measures, the guides for both for all local counties.